Hello students, welcome again to a new session on Educators Plus. I am Akarshi, your English faculty at Educators Plus. So students, you must have attended my 11 a.m. session. So we have talked about various concepts that are related to American literature and I have given you the list also in the end of which topics do have we talked about, okay? So in this particular uh, class, I will be discussing the previous year's questions that have come in your exams and are very important because these questions are certain questions which are repeated okay again and again because american literature mein aapke itne sare writers nahi puche jate hain so jo main writers hain unke hi works ko you should cement it you should make a note of it and you should learn about it okay and to different generation like the lost generation b generation all these writers you should know about these generations and i will also be making a short on these generation to actually you know be a kind of a brew up to your uh, preparation okay so abus short to pakka dekhna please you should watch that short and please learn about the beat generation as well as the lost generation okay so let's not waste much of the time and please in the chat box let me know am i visible and audible to you properly please let me know am i audible and visible to you properly okay so let's begin Okay, students, again, I'm getting questions about my class timings. So, I'll tell you again uh, about that. Okay, so my class timings are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 11 a.m. Okay, is the theory class. And... Uh, 1 p.m. is the PYQ's class, okay? So, please make a note of it and do it in the classes to get your preparation uh, boost up. And please, uh, now less time is left. So, you should be very much, you know, vigilant about the matter, about the questions which have been discussed in this, in these sessions, okay? So, let's not waste much of the time and let's, okay, let's start the session. Fine. So the first question that comes into play is Arthur Miller's death of a salesman relies for its tragic seriousness on the fate of. Okay. So Arthur Miller ne jo play likha hai death of a salesman. It deals with the tragic seriousness on the fate of which of the following character: Willy Loman, Estragon, Vladimir, or Lucky. Can you just let me know in the chat box? Which of the following thing is, uh, which of the following character comes into the answer? Yes, is it A, B, C or D? Which is the correct answer? Okay, so the correct answer to this question is Willy Loman. Okay, so Willy Loman is a character in Death of a Salesman. Easter Gone, Lajabin, Lucky, they are the character in Waiting for Godot. Okay, Waiting for Godot, where ye character hai. Okay, so Waiting for Godot, the character is Estragon, Latimer and Lucky and in Death of a Salesman, Willy Loman was a character. So you should remember that Willy Loman was a character who is a traveling salesman in the novel Death of a Salesman and it deals with the fate of uh, Willy Loman, how he becomes, you know, he gets into boredom and he has some, you know, um, kind of a 
and he was slipping into senility okay and also uh, the play shows a variety of uh, you know themes okay such as the theme of american dream uh, you can say that uh, it also shows the theme of betrayal the trust and who were the uh, children of willie loman happy and biff these were the two children or they were the two son of uh, willie loman so you should remember the character willie loman in death of a salesman and please make a reading of it and this work Death of a salesman has a very typical, uh, you know, theme of American dream. Okay, this is having a dream, uh, uh, character of American dream, theme of American dream. Okay, let's move to the next question. Next question is the character Leopold Bloom makes an appearance in the novel. Okay, which novel may there was a character Leopold Bloom? Okay. Yes. In which of the following work there is a character named as Leopard Bloom? Is it A, B, C, or D? In which of the following words there is a character named as Leopard Bloom? Is it A, B, C, O, D? Okay. So the correct answer is Ulysses. So Ulysses is a work by James Joyce. Okay. James Joyce ne work likha hai Ulysses and there is a character named as Leopard Bloom. Okay. So as I told you ki James Joyce is famous for writing the stream of consciousness novels where the reader is directly planted uh, into the mind of the uh, character and uh, the turbulence, the chaos, everything is visible to the reader and they are free to actually in uh, interpret the ending or the actions of the character. So this kind of a stream of consciousness or this type of writing techniques for which James Joyce is famous. Can you just let me know in the chat box which is the other writer who is famous for uh, um, stream of consciousness? Which is the other writer which is famous in the modern age for stream of consciousness? Can you just let me know in the chat box? Okay, so it is Virginia Woolf. Okay, Virginia Woolf ki novels may be aapko. Uh, stream of consciousness dekhne ko milega. Fine. And in the Ulysses, I told you it is a story of two Dubliners and it concerns a story in a single day. Okay. So as I told you, two Dubliners were there in the story Ulysses and Dubliners is also worked by uh, James Joyce and it is a short story collection. Yeah, aapko question net mein aa chuka hai. And uh, the, in Ulysses, there were two Dubliners which were portrayed and one of the Dubliner was Leopard Bloom. Okay. Please remember this point. Uh, and this uh, okay so that's it next is uh, Tony Morrison used male narrator for the first time in okay in a kin's novel all these novels are by Tony Morrison which is an American writer and which novel she in the which novel she has used the male narrator for the first time in the chat box is it A, B, C or D please let me know which is the correct answer Is it A, B, C, or D? Yes, quickly. Okay, so basically, uh, she used the male narrator for the first time in Songs of Solomon. So you should remember that Songs of Solomon were basically um, actually having the story of slaves who escaped slavery by fleeing back to Africa. As I told you that America has been having a 13 colonies and these 13 colonies were in direct, uh, uh, were direct actually ruled by the British. Okay, the British directly in 13 colonies ko ruled karte te, and these 13 colonies were enslaved by the British authorities. Okay, so this actually the Tony Morrison Song of Solomon deals with this kind of a slavery theme in which the Africans who were the slaves of these 13 colonies and who were the slaves by, uh, of Britishers, they escaped 
the usa they escaped the country and fled back to africa to escape the slavery in america so this kind of a uh, you know plot is there in the work song of solomon is that clear let's move ahead okay so the title sound and the fury is taken from so this title the sound and the fury and sound as the fury is a work by william faulkner theek hai william faulkner is again a uh, american an american writer and he has written the work sound and the fury and is work ka title kis of the kis work se liya gaya hai is it hamlet macbeth the tempest or king lear you have to tell me in the chat box please let me know which is the correct answer yes quickly please answer in the chat box okay so the correct answer to this question is macbeth So Macbeth is a play by Shakespeare and one of the greatest tragedy which is written by Shakespeare and from this particular play the uh, title sound and fury has been taken by William Faulkner as the title of his work fine let's move ahead who among the following is called a new england poet theek okay? hai out of these following uh, poets or authors you which of the following author is known as the new england poet please let me know in the chat box is it a b c or d Yes. What is the correct answer? Okay. So the correct answer is uh, Robert Frost. So basically, Robert Frost may move to England, and his ancestors were basically from England only, and they were the original. Uh, a natives of england theek okay? hai and when um, robert frost came in contact with uh, his sisters and the locals who were living at that uh, locality they became engaged with frost's poetry okay so frost used to uh, recite his poetry he became engaged with the locals and their themes and the identities theek okay? hai and this kind of a uh, engagement with the new england people that uh, gave rise to a his name called as a new england poet that's why robert frost is known as the new england poet okay let's move ahead which of the following is not a play by tennessee williams so tennessee williams is an again an american author and which of the following play is not a work by tennessee williams in the chat box please let me know is it a b c or d okay so the correct answer is the zoo story okay so the zoo story is a word work by edward lb and it is a one act play ठीक है इट इज डील्स विद द डिजोलेशन लोलीनेस आइसोलेशन ऑफ द मेन कैरेक्टर एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली वर्क बाय एडवर्ड एल बी यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट ओके एंड ऑल दी थ्री वर्क आर बाय टेनिस विलियम्स प्लीज रिमेंबर द वर्क नेम ऑल्सो बिकॉज आपको मैच द कॉलम्स में या फिर आपको आइडेंटिफाई करने में या फिर द क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस एलिमिनेट करने में ये नॉलेज ऑफ द वर्क इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर द वर्क ऑफ टेनिस विलियम and please remember the zoo story is written by elbert lb and it's a one act play fine next 
विच फेमस अमेरिकन क्लासिक ओपन विथ कॉल मी इशमेल ठीक है कौन सी ऐसी अमेरिकन क्लासिक नॉवल है जिसका स्टार्टिंग सेंटेंस है कॉल मी इशमेल इज इज रिप बैंड विंकल द स्कॉडिश लेटर द ग्रेप्स ऑफ रैथ और मोबी टिक प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द चैट बॉक्स What is the correct answer to this question? Okay, so the correct answer is Moby Dick. So as I told you, Moby Dick is a work by Herman Melville, and uh, here the captain. Uh, Ahad and Ishmael are the two main characters, and call me Ishmael is the first sentence of the work Moby Dick. So, when I was studying Herman Melville, I told you that uh, his novel Moby Dick was a failure. And after uh, following the new, uh, basically the professor, when they asked people to read about this work without letting them know the author and the background, so it was appreciated by the reading public, and the professor also appreciated the interpretation where different reading people have brought to that particular work, and that's why this moment when Moby Dick became famous after seventy years of his publication, that moment came to be known as Herman Melville. रिवाइवल ठीक है हरमन मेलविले रिवाइवल सो दिस काइंड ऑफ अ मूवमेंट हैज बीन हैज इमर्ज आफ्टर मॉबी डिके बिकेम फेमस आफ्टर सेवेंटी ईयर ऑफ इज पब्लिकेशन ठीक है लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द अदर वर्क रिब एंड विंकल दिस मैंने ये आपको वर्क लास्ट लेक्चर में पढ़ाया था एंड इट हैज बीन रिटर्न बाय वॉशिंगटन अरविंग ठीक है वॉशिंगटन अरविंग ने लिखा है द स्कॉलेट लेथर नाथानियल हॉथॉर्न Okay, and the grave's wrath has been written by John Steinberg. ठीक है, John Steinberg ने ये work लिखा है, the grave's of wrath. Okay, so uh, please remember that the um, Rimbard Winkle has been written by Washington Irwin. Carlin later has been written by Hawthorne. The grave's of wrath has been written by uh, okay, the John Steinberg and Moby Dick has been written by Herman. Melville. Okay, please remember the works and the writers. Next, Ellen Ginsberg's vision of America is inspired by. Okay, so Ellen Ginsberg was a writer, and his vision of America it has been inspired by which of the following author? Walt Whitman, Robert Frost, Emerson, or Edgar Allan Poe? Please let me know in the chat box. What is the correct answer to this question? What is the correct answer? Okay. So the correct answer to this question is Walt Whitman. So you must be uh, you must have heard about Ellen Ginsberg. So he was one of the uh, Beat Generation poet. Okay, so I have told Beat Generation के बारे में बताया था कि what kind of a generation it was. Okay, so Beat Generation poet का जो uh, basically they were homosexual. They used to talk about sexual liberation. They used to talk about exploration of America. They used to talk about uh, Human conditions in their work. So these kind of themes which have been touched upon by the Beat Generation and Ellen Ginsberg is also one of the Beat Generation poet, and he is considered as the bridge between confessional poets and the Beat Generation writer. Okay, so please remember it's a very important work. It has been considered as a connection, or he you can say that he has been considered as a transitional poet, or you can say that he has been considered as a bridge. Between confessional poets, I have confessional poetry भी पढ़ाई थी आपको, ठीक है? Poets and uh, beat generation, 
ठीक है आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट द कन्फेशनल पोइट्री एज वेल सो विल फ्लैट डैड ही हैज़ द फेमस कन्फेशनल पोइट्री एंड द कन्फेशनल पोइट्री यूज टू टॉक अबाउट द पर्सनल टॉर्मेंट्स पर्सनल लॉस पर्सनल और इट हैज अ पर्सन प्रोनाउन आई इन दैट ठीक है सो इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द कंसेप्ट प्लीज एड दैट वी हैव ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट कन्फेशनल पोइट्स फाइन इज इज क्लियर okay so please remember that the beat generation poet ellen ginsberg is that and he has been considered as a bridge between the confessional poet and the beat generation poet and i have in my previous lecture when i talked about the beat generation i have told you that ellen ginsberg is famous for his work howl theek hai uska jo work howl tha it is considered as a seed or a you can say germ to uh, for the beat generation poets emotions theek hai and this howl is also very famous poem by ellen ginsberg you should remember that and um, basically it actually uh, you can say that uh, uh, the poem is dedicated to uh, his um, carl solomon theek hai carl solomon was a person whom he has dedicated this poem howl fine please remember these points okay let's move ahead so i had as i told you this uh, ellen ginsberg beat generation robert frost new england poet or a new romantic poet theek hai dono bola jata hai isko new england poet and a new romantic poet emerson transcendental writer edgar allan poe is associated with dark romanticism okay so please make a mention of all these thing that poe is uh, known for the um, attached to the dark romanticism emerson transcendentalism okay and frost neo romantic poet and new england poet theek hai ye sare titles aapko yaad rakhna chahiye please make a note of it all these writers theek hai और विटमिन बी इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एंड वर्ल्ड विटमिन को क्या बोला गया था पोएट ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी हीज इज नोन एज पोएट ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी ओके ही इज प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट फाइन ठीक है पोएट सॉरी पोएट लॉरियट ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी एंड गांधी ऑफ अमेरिका ही इज ऑल्सो नोन एज गांधी ऑफ america because he has is famous for originating the concept of civil disobedience as it was actually made famous by gandhi as well so that's why whitman is also known as gandhi of america fine let's move ahead now in which of the following american novels does the valley of ashes occur okay ye kis kis novel mein ye valley of ashes has been there you have to tell me in the chat box um uh, huckleberry finn the red badge of courage invisible man or the great gatsby please let me know in the chat box yes very good devendra gandhi of america yes very good very good he is also known as father of free words which is the correct answer okay so the correct answer is the great gatsby so in the work great gatsby as i told you it's a very famous work by fitzgerald and it is famous for uh, the concept of american dream theek hai what is american dream that everybody or each american should be given equal opportunity and to achieve success okay so each uh, should have the you know the means or the uh, privileges to actually work hard and to actually strive to gain the uh, success like every american so every american should have the equal opportunity this was a kind of a concept put by americans 
I mean, the form of American dream, and it has been portrayed by Fitzgerald in the work The Great Gatsby, and it is considered with the life of Jay Gatsby, and Nick Carraway was the narrator, and he actually took it, has taken it over to unite the lovers, Great Gatsby, and his um, la beloved Daisy Buchanan. Okay, so this was all about Great Gatsby. So, Valley of Ashes is a part of Great Gatsby. So, you should remember, Invisible Man is a work by Ralph Ellison. ठीक है, Invisible Man किसने लिखा है? Ralph Ellison ने लिखा है. The Red Badge of Courage has been written by Stephen Crane. ठीक है, Stephen Crane ने लिखा है. And Hug Berry Finn तो Mark Twain ने लिखा है. I have already told you. And what was the uh, Mark Twain? Tell me in the chat box. Mark Twain is the pseudo name or the real name? Please let me know in the chat box. Is the Mark uh, Twain is the pseudo name or a real name? Yes, please let me know in the chat box. Is Mark Twain a pseudonym or a real name of the poet? Yes, I have already told you in a previous lecture, it is a pseudonym or a real name. Yes, very good. They it is pseudonym. Okay, so Mark Twain is a pseudonym, and what is the real name? Samuel Clemens. Samuel Clemens is a real name, and he has used a pseudonym Mark Twain for his works. And let me know in the chat box for which age Mark Twain is known for. So, which si novel thi jo age ke, uh, upar hai, uh, of Mark Twain? Which is that age? I have told you which for which Mark Twain is famous for. Please let me know in the chat box which is that age. If you have attended my previous lecture, you must be knowing that. Yes, first in the chat box, please let me know because it's a revision bhi ho raha hai. So that's why I'm asking you in the uh, chat box. Okay, so basically, Mark Twain is known for the Gilded Age. Okay, and what was Gilded Age? Gilded Age tha ki after the World War ke baad destruction hoya tha, now the Americans took an, uh, have taken an oath to restore the all the economic activities, all the culture, all the you know influx of the skilled labors. So this was actually restored and America was has made uh, come back to normal state. Okay, so that's what the age is known as Gilded Age, and Mark Twain has been associated with the Gilded Age. Yes, very good, Devendra. Okay, let's move ahead. Harold Pinter's first four plays are okay, so Harold Pinter is again a very important writer and uske char plays ke baare mein mujhe bataye, which is the correct option. Yes, very good. Good times has been restored in USA. Yes, which is the correct option? Okay, so the correct option is the room, the dumb waiter, the birthday party and the caretaker. Please make a note of all the options or all the works of Harold Pinter. And you should know that Harold Pinter has been associated with comedy of Minet. Okay, Harold Pinter has been associated with comedy of Minet. So what is comedy of Minet? Comedy of Minet is a comedy. At a sudden time of uh, tragedy, in them, the tragic effect are suddenly a person starts doing a comedy just to relieve the uh, you know the seriousness of the tragedy. That kind of comedy is known as comedy of Minet. And you should also remember that Harold Pinter is the most important writer of the comedy of Minet. But this term comedy of Minet has been given by Irving Wardle. 
ठीक है अरविंग वॉडर इज अ पर्सन हु हैज क्वाइंट द टर्म कॉमेडी ऑफ मिनेज क्वेश्चन ऑफ नेट कि नेट में क्वेश्चन आपके आ चुका है हु हैज क्वाइंट द टर्म कॉमेडी ऑफ मिनेज ठीक है सो इट वॉज अरविंग वॉडर हु हैज क्वाइंट द टर्म कॉमेडी ऑफ मिनेज एंड इट वॉज मेड फेमस बाय हैरल पिंटर थ्रू हिज वर्क ओके प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस एंड मेक अ नोट ऑफ इट फाइन लेट्स मूव अहेड नाउ सेलेक्ट द मैचिंग पेयर ओके सो आपको जो ये जो वर्क से रखे हैं उनका सेटिंग से आपको कौन सा सही मैच है यू हैव टू टेल मी इन द चैट बॉक्स विच इज द राइट मैचिंग पेयर द ग्रेट गैट विद शिकागो द ओल्ड मैन एंड दी क्यूबा फॉर होम द बेल्ट टोज इटली एंड द साउंड एंड द फ्यूरी बॉस्टॉन Yes, which is the right answer? Which is the correct match? Okay, so the right answer is the old man and the sea cuba. So as I told you, that old man and the sea has been uh, is actually de uh, deals deals with the Cuban fisherman that is Santiago. Yeah, but I have told you a question that he is asked that who is uh, in which work Santiago is the main character? So it is old man and the sea. So again, old man and the sea is written by Ernest Hemingway. Okay. For whom the bell tolls is again written by Ernest Hemingway. The sound and the fury by William Faulkner. Please remember the work and the writer because यही ऐसे questions बनते हैं. Great Gatsby by Fitzgerald. ठीक है? As F. S. Scott Fitzgerald. So these are the works on the writers. And please remember the old man and the sea has been set in Cuba and the main character is Santiago. Very good, Devendra. It is B. Okay, next. Topsy appears in. ठीक है? Topsy is a character in which of the following work? Is it Uncle Tom's Cabin, History of the United States, Walden, or Tom Sawyer? Yes, please let me know in the chat box. Okay, so the correct answer is Uncle Tom's Cabin. So as I told you, Uncle Tom's Cabin has is written by Harriet Beecher Stowe. So, किस तरह लिखा है Harriet? Beecher Stowe, ठीक है, it has been written by Harriet Beecher Stowe and it has a theme of anti-slavery, ठीक है, so Tom was a slave and how he has faced the consequences of getting, you know, his owner keeps on changing and how he actually, you know, bear the, the he was actually beaten up to actually reveal the history of the released slaves, okay, and how he actually escaped that. particular situation and here tom has been equated with the image of christ okay and this uncle tom's cabin is the first work with the success of uncle tom's cabin a second work was written which is known as a key to uncle tom's cabin fine and topsy is a character in uncle tom's cabin and uh, okay so this um, walden walden has been written by as i told you h d thorau ओके एच डी थ्राव ने वर्क लिखा था लास्ट टाइम मैंने बताया था कि दिस वर्ल्डन इज अ काइंड ऑफ अ सोशल एक्सपेरिमेंट और अ पर्सनल डिक्लेयर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस वेयर एच डी थ्राव हैज बीन टू इन द वर्ल्ड टू एक्टली सेटल ओवर देयर इन द मिनिमलिस्ट सोसाइटी एंड टू सर्वाइव एंड टू बी एंड ऑल्सो दिस वॉज सिंबल ऑफ अ सेल्फ डिस्कवरी फाइन एंड इन विच हाउस ही हैज स्टेड ही हैज स्टेड इन द हाउस ऑफ 
एमर्सन क्वेश्चन ऑफ नेट मैंने आपको लास्ट टाइम बताया था कि एमर्सन वॉज अ पर्सन इन विच हाउ एच डी थ्राव हैज सेटल डाउन इन वर्ल्डन एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज नोन एज अ सोशल एक्सपेरिमेंट फाइन दिस टॉम सोर टॉम सोर आई नो इट इज बाई मार्क टू एन फाइन लेट्स मूव अड नाउ द लॉस्ट जनरेशन इज अ नेम अप्लाइड टू द डिस्टिल्यूशन इंटेलेक्चुअल एंड एस्थेटिक्स ऑफ द ईयर फॉलोइंग द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर हु कॉल द टर्म द लॉस्ट जनरेशन आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू हु हैज कॉइन द टर्म द लॉस्ट जनरेशन इट इज एच एल मेकिन गर्ट्यूस्टीन जैक लंडन और विला कैथर आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन माई लेक्चर ऑफ इलेवन ए एम हु हैज कॉइन द टर्म द लॉस्ट जनरेशन प्लीज लेट मी नो द चैट बॉक्स If you are enjoying the session, please like the session as well. Who has coined the term the lost generation? A, B, C, or D? Yes, you must all be knowing that I have told you already. Okay. so basically lost generation was coined by gertrude stein so either i told you lost generation was a kind of a, a poetry group which emerged during the um, this period and they used to be the uh, they used to refer to the world war 1 theek hai and they used to claim the, the terror of world war 1 and what was the effect of these uh, you know, of the world war 1 to uh, on the life of the people theek hai and this term uh, actually refers to the writers like ernest hemingway e cummins Fitzgerald, okay, uh, MacLeish. So these were the writers who emerged during the Lost Generation, and it was Gertrude Stein, okay. So Gertrude Stein, when he uh, she was having a conversation with uh, Ernest Hemingway, and just formally she he uh, she referred to Ernest Hemingway that you are all a Lost Generation, and this uh, you are all a Lost Generation has been used as an epigraph. by ernest hemingway in his novel the sun also rises okay so please remember the lost generation term has been coined by gertrude stein and he kafi bar aapke net exam mein pucha ja chuka hai so please make a special note of it fine next is which of the following option is correct about transcendentalism maine aapko transcendentalism ke bare mein padhaya tha okay yes very good devendra okay so transcendentalism was a philosophical and literary movement it flourished in the southern states of america it was reaction against 18th century rationalism and the skeptical philosophy of locke among the major texts of transcendental thoughts are the essays of emerson thoreau walden and the writing of uh, margaret fuller okay so which is the right combination you have to let me know in the chat box which is the right combination okay so the correct answer is uh first and fourth the so first and fourth the transcendentalism was a philosophy and literary movement yes it was a uh, and among the major texts are emerson thoreau uh, margaret fuller so all these we have talked about in the last uh, session so i'll again repeat what is transcendentalism for those who have not attended that class so basically transcendentalism is a kind of a philosophical movement which developed in the late 1820s okay so late 19th century mein it got developed and in the uh, basically in the entire or you can say the um, eastern united states okay so it actually developed in the eastern united states so that's why the southern option is wrong okay so that it actually got developed in the eastern united states theek okay? hai so aapko see how the peculiar details are important okay so please make a note of it that it actually got evolved in the eastern united states and the core belief of these writers 
was the uh, inherent goodness of people okay so they have a very deep gratitude towards nature and they used to appreciate nature not only in aesthetic purpose but as a kind of a guide and they used to adhere or if they used to observe the values and they used to understand the teachings of the you know uh, of the nature and they used to in, uh, imbibe the teachings of the universe in their work okay and they used to also observe how this world function how what are the working of the world okay and this transcendentalism uh, writer used to depict uh, um, uh, a lot of you know nature elements in their work and the main philosophy of these particular writers were the inherent goodness of people and who were the famous writer emerson hg thoreau and margaret fuller so these were the three transcendentalist writers who have been asked in your exam and can be asked in the exam so please make a note of it okay so jo emerson ka ek work tha maine bataya tha nature it is known as the bible of transcendentalism so ye agar question aapse pucha jaye which is which of the following work has been referred to the bible of transcendentalism that is nature by emerson theek hai so uh, it was the reaction against 18th century rationalism and skeptical philosophy of law so ye british literature ki baat hai american ki baat nahi ho rahi hai transcendentalism was a movement in american literature theek hai so that's why second and third option is wrong and first and fourth are correct is this clear okay let's move ahead a letter a is a scarlet letter stands for which of the following symbol adultery able angel or appetite i have told you this thing which is the correct option is it a b c or d okay so the correct answer is first second and third okay adultery able angel to maine bataya tha ki that uh, uh this hester prine was a protagonist of this particular work and she has been accused of adultery with arthur uh, dimsdale theek hai and roger chillingworth was her husband uh, who uh, with whom he was in the wedlock but out of the wedlock he has uh, you know uh, committed the adultery sin with arthur dimsdale theek hai and that's why because of the accusation of adultery she has been uh, to uh, she has was made to be hang up symbol of a okay uh, on her bosom and this a letter stands for adultery able and angel when arthur dimsdale later on commit uh, sorry uh, uh, you know accepts his crime then uh, this uh, hester prine was proved uh, innocent and that's why she was called an angel so that's why appetite is something related to hunger so it nothing has to do with this that's why first second and third is the correct answer okay why was able because that show her strength also how she was able to made stand on a pedestal and she was you know uh, given some you know bad words and then everything but she, still she was able to deal with herself her circumstances and she uh, can also protect her child as well so that's why it shows her strength and courage that's why able is also the symbol next seat is a character in okay so you have to tell me in the chat box seat is a character in which of the following work please like the session and share with your friends as well okay seat is a character in which of the following book yes in which of the following work uh, do we find the seat
is it a b c or d okay so basically seed is the character in the work beloved and this work is by tony morrison american writer so this work is by tony morrison color purple is a very important character you should remember that it is also a very important work okay ellis walker ellis walker has written the work the color purple the women of rooster place has been written by naylor okay so naylor was a person uh, uh, sorry writer who has written the work uh, the women of rooster place naylor fine so these are some important works which you have to remember and the writers of these particular works next playing in the dark by tony morrison a series of reflection on theek okay, hai so playing in the dark is again a work by tony morrison and it reflects on which of the following uh, condition let me know in the chat box which is the correct answer okay so the correct answer to this question is whiteness and the literary imagination so to please remember the playing in the dark is a work by tony morrison and it deals with the whiteness and the literary imagination why because tony morrison in his uh, in his work in her works used to deal with the plight of the black americans or the africans okay so that's why it deals uh, this playing in the dark shows the whiteness and the literary imagination fine next who among the following writers belong to the american beat movement okay so this is your homework question fine i have uh, taught you beat generation i have uh, you know marked the important writers of the beat generation also their works theek okay? hai and how what was the beat generation how it got emerged and what was the characteristic of the beat generation writers okay so you have to tell me out of the following uh, four option which is known or which belong to the american beat movement okay so you have to comment the answer in the comment section of this particular video after the class and i'll be checking the correct answers uh, those who have answered it right okay so please do comment your uh, answer in the comment section so that i can have a look are you getting what i'm teaching or are you able to catch up with the concepts that i'm explaining in the classes okay so please stay tuned to all the sessions next uh we we have we are done with the american literature next in the next class on wednesday i'll be beginning with the indian literature okay so please stay tuned to that class as well i'll be discussing the important writers and their works of uh, indian literature in my next lecture on wednesday okay so please keep practicing in case you have any doubt in american literature you can just post in the comment section i'll be dealing with your doubts okay and if you want this preparation to go well so please like the session comment your views about the session your questions everything or the correct answer to this question as well on the comment section and please subscribe to the channel as well for more such updates and share the session with your friends so that you can help the most people who are having no clue how to prepare the examination okay so till then take care of yourself and goodbye everyone thank you devendra